Good evening. Welcome to News Center. I'm Derek Gramke. And I'm Rachel Stoneman. This is your news for March 31st, 2011. We'll be right back after the break with Nick Moore and a quick look at weather. Last Monday, October 11th, was National Coming Out Day. Moorhead States Alliance was on hand to show their support for anyone in the LGBT community. We had National Coming Out Day, and we, um, like, it's just a day made just, like, to help people if they want to come out. Once students are enrolled here at MSU, they may start looking into what degree they want to study. Professor Schimmel gave us some tips on how students can get started. The important thing officially for any student to do is, number one, come in from day one, getting to know their advisor, making the initial contact, and unlike what most students think, it is the student's responsibility to get really good advising. They have to assume the responsibility and take charge and ownership of their future. Um, so knowing your advisor, making the contact, meeting with the advisor on a semester by semester ba basis. As well as talking with advisors, students can also sign on to their Datatel accounts to look at their program evaluations and classes that are offered. New Center talked to some students on their experiences here at MSU. These took me about five and a half years and part of my delays were due to the fact that I changed majors twice and I also attended uh, MSU part-time uh, for one year while I worked a full-time job and so I didn't get a lot of credits over that year. It slowed me down a little bit um, and then I also I, I had to take time out occasionally to help around my family farm and keep up with a lot of the demands of life so it, it took me a little while to get through my undergrad but uh, I don't think five and a half years was too long. I got done in time in four years span at University of Louisville. That's where I went for my undergrad. And what I did was summer school was my friend. I always did summer school to make sure I would have taken tw 12 in the fall, like t 14, 13 in the, uh, in the spring. But I made sure I did my job in summer school and uh, to make sure my credits was up to speed so I can graduate in four years because I'm not a career college student. I want to be done with undergrad and graduate school in a timely manner so I can get out and attack my career. Welcome back to News Center. Right now we're looking at partly cloudy conditions outside. We've seen the sun peak out a couple times today. The current temperature is 65 degrees, a lot warmer than what we've been seeing here lately. The dew point sitting at 29 degrees. We have some record temperatures. The high for today in 1989 was 78 degrees. Yesterday we actually hit the high of 74 degrees, so we weren't far behind. But the low that was from 1997 is at 31 degrees. I don't think we're going to hit that here anytime soon, but you never know. Well, let's take a look at the temperatures across the Commonwealth. 62 degrees down in Bowling Green. 58 degrees is like, like the common degrees today with Louisville, Frankfurt, and Lexington all sitting at about a warm 58. London and Jackson also looking at 66 degrees. That's the hot spot today. 65 degrees, a little bit cooler in Ashland, but the cool spot up, up in northern Kentucky, they're seeing those cooler temperatures due to that storm system that just moved through. Covington sitting at four Welcome back to News Center. Sorry about that disruption in the weather earlier, but we're back with the rest of it. Tonight, the forecast in Moorhead, we're going to see partly cloudy conditions with that low of 33 degrees. Actually, tonight, parts of Rowan County and even parts of Powell and Estill counties, most of eastern Kentucky is under a freeze warning tonight, which what that's going to do is temperatures are going to really cool down, and we're going to see some patchy fog, fog tomorrow morning. But after that, we're going to see mostly sunny conditions with a high of 54 degrees, so... Besides that patchy fog in the morning, tomorrow should be a beautiful day. Let's take a look at these storms. As you can tell, we've seen some small storms move through Kentucky, but the big thing over on the East Coast, they're seeing large rain showers come through. Heavy storms that are bringing them several inches of rain, and they're even seeing some rainstorms down in Florida that is causing some wind damage, and they're seeing heavy rain also. But we're going to continue to see the cold front move through here in Kentucky. That's going to bring some rain showers for the rest of this evening and into parts of tomorrow and even into Saturday. It's a quick, you know, cold front moves through. Looks like next week we're going to heat things back up, so it's not going to be too bad. But basically what you're saying is tomorrow there's going to be no classes with this no, snow. No, right? I don't think we're going to get anything like that. I'm thinking tonight just some rain showers with a few snow flurries. It's not like we're going to wake up to a white blizzard or anything. <laughs> Well, that's fine with me. I'm not really ready for the snow yet. Yeah. All right, now let's go to Cecil with New Center Sports. Last Thursday, the Student Alumni Ambassadors hosted the Nearly Naked Mile on the lawn of Ada. Participants came dressed in costume or comfortable running clothes and were encouraged to donate new or unwanted coats, which were then given to Christian Social Services in Moorhead. Many of the participants showed up in their skivvies, all in the name of fun and ready to help support the cause they were running for. 
Registration for the Nearly Naked Mile began at 8.30 and the one mile run kicked off at 9 p.m. This year was the fourth annual Nearly Naked Mile here at MSU. Last year's event had over 75 participants and more than 115 coats were collected. This year's numbers are still being tallied. Prizes were awarded at the end of the race for first, second, and third place in both male and female categories. Also, most creative costume and the 110% award, which was given to the men and women of ROTC. Reporting for News Center, I'm Rachel Stottle. MSU's men's basketball fans took a trip to see the boys in action. News Center has more on the story. 26 pill on their clean up your medicine cabinet out day on March 23rd. Residents came to the Bath County Courthouse to destroy their medicines that they did not need or were out of date. The medications were fed to the Pill Dragon, a mar mobile incinerator sponsored by Unite Eastern Kentucky Pride and the Kentucky Army National Guard. Since this past August, the Pill Dragon has destroyed over 350,000 pills. The previous single day record for the event was held by McGoffin County with 46,806 pills. A man was rushed to the hospital after being shot while driving. It, it happened just after 11 a.m. Wednesday at Georgetown and Howard Streets near Douglas Park in Lexington. Police say some shots were fired outside a grocery store at that intersection and traveled up the street through the windshield of the car passing by at the time. The man was taken to the hospital with a non-life-threatening gunshot wound and is in stable condition. Investigators are still trying to determine what led up to the shots being fired and are trying to find a suspect. On behalf of Nick Moore and Cecil Pergram with sports, I'm in the rest of the News Center team. I'm Derek Gramke. And I'm Rachel Stoudeman. Have a great evening.